Hello everyone, allow me to introduce myself. <laughs> Already starts out well, eh? So, uh, I'm Shadow Yan, and uh, I'm going to present to you uh, this LP of uh, a game of my childhood. Who um, really bring back, uh, brings back a lot of memories. So, for you. Well, to you, I present Final Fantasy VI, or in my case, when I was younger, it was Final Fantasy III. Because it was the third to actually came, uh, come out in America. So, like I said, this is a game special to my heart because it's the actual first game I ever played. So, let's start a new game. The ancient, the, the ancient War of the Magi. When its flame at last receded, only the chair the husk of a world remained. Even the power of magic was lost. In the thousand years that followed, iron, gunpowder, and steam engines took over, uh, took the place of magic, and life slowly returned to the barren land. Yet there now stands one who would reawaken the magic of ages past and use its dread power as a means by which to conquer all the world. Could anyone truly be foolish enough to repeat that mistake? Fortunately for us, there is, because without that, we wouldn't have a bit of any story in this. There's the city. Hard to believe a Nesper's been found frozen there a thousand years after the War of the Major. Ugh, <laughs> probably just another wild goose chase. I don't know. You wouldn't have let us use her unless they were confident that the information was good. She fried 50 of our magic armored soldiers in three minutes. Kinda makes her skin, her skin crawl, don't it? Relax, with that thing on her head, she's a mindless puppet. The girl won't even breathe unless we tell her to. We will approach from the east. Move out! So, these were our actual three first characters we will play with. I'm going to um, let, you know, the starting generic go, because I wanted to talk to you guys about something. Because you see, this was not my actual first attempt to make this LP. If you followed me before, you were a couple to follow me before. Uh, you will notice uh, that uh, I'm remaking the whole thing. Uh, I'm remaking it because simply uh, the videos were horribly made. I made tons of mistakes. And I did some research on the net and I saw where my mistakes were. And I decided to re upload the whole thing with better quality. Um, also, a uh, better uh, commentary because I have to admit I was so shy the first time that uh, uh, it was, you know, a bit hesitant uh, at all. 
Well, it, I still seem hesitant a bit, but that's normal because uh, I'm not. Uh, well, English is not my mother uh, tongue. Yeah, I speak French usually, so that's why I may I may seem to have some problem talking. But as uh, I said, uh, English is not my uh, main language. So uh, I hope it doesn't bother you too much. And uh, I hope you will stick with me from here to the very end. All right. How about we start this? The girl takes point, and don't waste time on the riffraff. Remember what we're here for. Let's move. So, like uh, we said, we have to find a nest for. So before we go up there, I want to show you this, not very important, it's a little fight you can do in this alleyway that will give you some extra experience points, not that it's actually important or anything, but uh, it's something not everyone knows, and I wanted to show it on camera, on the recording, I mean, because I record with uh, the... Uh, recording tool on my emulator um, some will say that emulators are uh, in fact really uh, I need those but uh, I made some research and it depends on the context yeah um, you can use an emulator if you actually own the console which I do and own the game which I also do. So I'm totally doing this legally. So let's go here. And we have there two more enemies. Two other silver lobos that will just be burned to a crisp by our machine. So I should maybe explain now the, the, the gameplay here. Well, I'll actually do that in the other fight because there it's over. You have uh, so far three options. Well, two with the things and wedge. You can do magic deck, which will allow you to attack using your robot. And you can also use item to uh, either heal or uh, well EHP, MP or bad status elements like uh, poison and all and our third character here uh, question mark lady like I like to call her as magic but before I want to show you something look here there are four enemies right there are now only three I don't know why that mistake was made, I mean, so, her, so early in the game they could easily, uh, you know, fix the draft. But, um, no, they decided to leave this like that, like the uh, original game. So, like I was saying, Question Mark Lady has uh, another option that two others doesn't have, it's magic. Magic is a natural capacity of uh, a character to use uh, spells unlike the machine it just uh, MPs to do it and uh, only a few uh, humans can do this uh, they can only do this uh, from birth they are very few and uh, our lady here seems to be one of those lucky characters Weird, eh? So now I'm going to just bioblast them all. Uh, now you see the Megaloza stuff, who are uh, an enemy that seems kind of easy, you know. I just destroyed them first hit again. But uh, later on they'll be quite annoying. I won't tell you more, because I want you to see it.
According to our source, they unearthed the frozen Nestor in a new mine shaft they were digging. This must be it. So now we are here in the mine. Allow me to save real quick. Yeah, this little uh, shining star here is a save point. So let's save. I'll overwrite my old file. Alright, and let's continue forward. You probably saw that cave over there, but we can't go there yet. So. All of this, stand back! So we'll go up there instead. So we go forward, and. Oh! We're not heading over the Esper! Emir, get them! So now we face the first boss! Hold it! This thing's up! We must have trained it to guard the mine! What are you talking about? You know what this says? Ever heard of a lightning walk? It's a monster that absorbs lightning! And stores the energy in its shell. Right. So whatever you do, don't attack the shell. Got it. Well, in fact, it's not entirely true. You can attack the shell, but you will receive kind of an hasty counter attack right out of it. But if you can completely deplete the shell of HP. You know, by attacking it once and then you heal real quick. Uh, you can actually deplete the whole MP of the thing and destroy the shell. I won't do it here because it's so freaking long. And uh, also, they mentioned to not use lightning, and this is actually one of the things you have to do to win the strike. Never use lightning. And also, you will notice that. Uh, you will withdraw it there. So what you have to do here to avoid hitting the shell if you don't want to receive a counter attack or try to destroy the shell, simply attack with the three characters once, and when you withdraw in the shell, you take that time to heal, and then uh, when you get out again, hack at it again, and uh, if you're a bit lucky, in two turns, that's it. Not an actually hard first boss. So we win a high potion out of this, very nice. How about we go in the cave, where that guard was, he seems to have run away. Excuse me? I'll need you guys later, not now. So, can you just please die? Thank you! Now let's keep going. Sorry if I seem a bit messed up there, but it's because... So, this is the frozen answer. Because, well, you rarely get the random encounters here. And it pissed me off a bit because I was told that he could get it now. Okay. This thing's giving me the creeps. Something's not right. Shiny. Girl likes shiny things, right? Okay, okay. I, I won't make such a sexist joke but too much. <laughs> Alright. Uh, wh where's that light coming from? What was that? Witch? Witch, where are you? Hey! What's going on? And 
guess whose turn it is. She will meet a different fate somehow. Yeah, she explodes. Game over. Nah, just kidding. Uh, actually, we will wake up here in the house of that man over there. So, we'll have to talk to him next, but I think I'm going to end this episode here and we will do that in the next one, okay? So, if you like, don't forget to subscribe and like the video. And uh, see you around, guys.